back onto statistics. Now, onto our first new distribution, the Poisson distribution. Now, what are we looking at for the, uh, the Poisson? So I'm going to work over here. So let's jot a little thing. So what we have for Poisson. So lambda is a constant rate. So instead of a probability of something happening, we're looking at a rate of it happening. And the really important thing is it's a rate per something. And we're going to have to move that around. The events have to be independent, but here's the other big, big thing that differentiate it. There's no upper limit. All right, i.e. x is bigger than or equal to zero. So unlike the binomial, there isn't a fixed number of attempts. So if we read this thing about Zoe, she's in a public library and the books get returned. Um, they return randomly independently. On average, 90 books are returned during a six hour afternoon shift. But that doesn't mean we're looking at 90 books and they might get returned, they might not. No, it's just books get returned. There could be zero, there could be one, there could be two, there could be 90, it could be 120 books get returned during a six hour shift. The key thing is on average, it comes out as about 90. So we don't have a fixed number of attempts N. That's the key thing. We're still counting how many things happen, but we don't have an upper fixed N. It's just literally they happen at a constant rate. OK. So, yeah, we could literally go all the way up to infinity if we wanted. Right. You could have an infinite number of books. But what largely happens is that the probability conks out. Now, we've got our results up here. This is the formula for the Poisson. Again, I won't derive it. Hopefully one of your teachers has shown you one of the ways you get this. I'm really, uh, again, if we get to the end of this morning and we've got a bit of time, you can tell me which ones of these you want us to try and prove and we can do it. I get lost sometimes because you have to do some weird things, but I'm sure we can manage it. So let's have a look at this. So first things, we know it's 90 books for six hours. So let's, I like to 90 per six hour shift. Now, we want to know how many books are returned in a 20 minute period. So that's 15 per one hour, on average, 15 per hour. So in a 20 minute period, it's five per 20 minutes. 